Hey lovely people, it's your girl Empire. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning back in. In today's video, I want to show you guys how I wash my hair, the process of washing my hair. So let's get straight to it. <laughs> So it's about two weeks since I last washed my hair and today I'm kind of in a rush so I'm going to do my lazy day wash routine. I'm taking my hair down. Um, I had twists out before and I also had braid outs. That's how my hair so stretched and then afterwards I was wearing my hair in buns. So now I'm taking out the remaining twists that I have. about to part my hair in sections because I always wash my hair in twists so that's what I'm preparing my hair for if I don't wash my hair in twists my hair is going to be a tangled mess so I always have to put it in sections and then twist it up So this is where I start <laughs> the parting process. When I'm doing this, I, I try as much as possible to make sure that I stay in the section so that the the hair is Ooh, how do I explain this? <laughs> When I'm doing this, I try as much as possible to part my hair properly so that I don't have stray hairs. Please don't ask me why I'm smiling. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't remember why I was laughing all the time. I don't even remember why I was laughing and smiling. Normally, if I was not in a hurry, I would um, spritz my hair with water and olive oil to help the um, process of parting. But this time around, like I said, this is a lazy day wash routine, so I'm just parting it like that. But but normally, it's um, better for the hair if you spritz it with some kind of water. So as you can see, I'm done parting and I'm about to start washing my hair. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm in the shower now and I already started wetting my hair. I'm low porosity so it takes a while to my hair gets really um, saturated with water. And usually I like to let my hair be really soaked with water before I add the shampoo I would um, gently scrub my scalp and then out when I feel like my hair has soaked up enough water then I'll just proceed with the shampoo so now I'm using the Cantu shampoo and applying it to my scalp I start with my scalp first and usually I focus on the front section of my hair before moving towards the back of my head 
And just in case you're wondering, my armpits are shaved. <laughs> it just looks dark. Yes, but they are shaved, okay? <laughs> I'm scrubbing my scalp trying to get rid of all the dirt but I'm not using my nails I'm just using the tips of my fingers to loosen up the dirt <laughs> This is the first wash and I'm rinsing it out. Here I was trying to pull my hair to show you the length but as you can see I couldn't capture the entire length hour <laughs> now on to the second wash so now I apply the shampoo directly onto my hair and I squeeze it into the twists As you can see some twists are already um, unraveling I didn't notice but yeah and the soap was getting to my eyes oh <laughs> oh my days ouch <laughs> yeah I almost forgot to wash the back of my head so this is what I'm doing so I went back and I applied um, shampoo for the back section here I was smoothing my hair down so it wouldn't be tangled at the roots I'm dragging the lather down the sh hair shaft and I'm pulling out the shed hair so this is the front section of my hair Can you see those curls at the end? Mm. <laughs> After rinsing out the shampoo, I pour the rice water onto my hair. On a normal day, I would cover it with a plastic bag and let it sit for some time before taking out the plastic bag. But I would, I would still not rinse it out though. I would still leave it in. But this time around I just poured it on my hair and just went about my day and went on to style my hair. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and to share this video. It's your girl Obaya. Bye bye.